It is a cancer fundraiser and a big adrenaline rush today. A group of people voluntarily scaled down a downtown high rise. Dominic Garcia joining us from that Hyatt Regency. Dom, we were surprised to learn that you were not leading the descent. I stayed right down here on the ground, Jim, because heights freak me out. So these people definitely amaze me. This is always so fun to see every year. And this year, they went 38 stories. These are special individuals who have been inspired by some very brave people fighting cancer. It was probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. It's hard to explain. Standing at the edge of the building, everything in your brain and your heart and your body tells you don't step off, don't step off. So what possessed all of these people to repel down 38 stories? We're terrified for her. For Danielle and, Taylor, uh, it's her good friend who just two weeks ago found out she has cancer. Actually, Danielle's done this before and two years ago said she's never doing it again. So in talking to my friend who was saying, there's no way I can face all this chemotherapy and the radiation, a lumpectomy, a double mastectomy. And I thought, how do I actually say, like, oh, of course you can, except by trying to push my boundaries. Courtney Meisel also participated. Years ago, she was diagnosed with cancer and a friend did this event in her honor. Now she's hooked. The least I can do to show my appreciation as someone who survived is to get up there and face my fears for the ninth time and repel and they keep raising the building height. A woman who I met earlier today is on her sixth year, fourth year, fourth year in a row doing it. Great job, Quincy. It is a common goal that has pushed these people over the edge, a showing of solidarity for all the brave people out there fighting cancer. It's a simple thing to step over that edge. It's horrible to battle cancer. Now, Over the Edge has raised a lot of money over the last 10 years. Our goal this year is $400,000. It's also happening tomorrow and Saturday. For more information, just head to our website, cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.